What you mean you're going for more education after you graduate? You gotta be kidding! Where are you getting the money? And how's your grade point, huh? Do you think you'll earn scholarships? What school is gonna take you? Have you been saving and planning yet? Will you qualify for financial aid? Hold it, just hold it. Hmm, it's not too late to plan. It's not too late to save, to raise my grades, to plan, and to qualify for financial aid and for schools I like. I can do it if I put my mind to it. Good morning, class. I'm your substitute teacher for today, Mrs. Ag Norton. Good morning, Mrs. Ag Norton. After I take attendance, I would like for you to write down what you want to be in life and why. I want to be rich. Bob Roberts has had a very interesting life so far. Well, a fine home automobile and a dream of a wife. Bob Roberts, however, had a dirty little secret. He lived in fear someone would find out. The secret was something that he would do anything to protect. One day, a neighbor's little girl rang the front doorbell, and Bob opened it and said, Hello, Charlotte. May I help you? Would you like to buy some candy bars from me? Sure. How much are they? There are five bars for $5, or two bars for $2.50, and one bar for $1.25. What? How much are two candy bars again? They are $2.50, Mr. Roberts. Just a minute. Let me get some change. Here you are. All I have is a $20 bill. No problem. Just sign this order form right here, and I will get your change. Just a minute, young lady. You gave me the wrong change. But, Mr. Roberts, you gave me a $20 bill for the two bars, and they are $2.50. And I gave you $17.50 change. But you should have given me more. Mr. Roberts, you really should have paid more attention in your math class. What do you mean? I don't need to pay attention in school. Look at all I have. What happened? I'm all grown up. Where are all my things? There is something to be said about paying attention to what is being taught in class. I know, I know, you don't believe me, right? Well, what are you going to do without additional training and education beyond high school when all the jobs requiring few skills are gone? That's right, gone. Today, factory jobs now require statistical process control, and carpentry requires lots of measurements and math. Even moving up through the burger houses means you have to figure out your payroll and calculate the supplies you need to order. So, what's the answer? The answer is there is no easy answer. However, if you buckle down and study hard and do the very best you can, the reward is millions of dollars for you in your lifetime. Okay, Bob, back to work now. There is financial assistance available for you to go to college or to get training after high school graduation. The Michigan Department of Education just wants you to know that if you don't get an education beyond high school, you have automatically missed out on thousands of careers. No amount of financial aid will help if you don't continue your education. Right now, you and your family can get more information from your school guidance counselor 
your school or public library, or from the financial aid office of the nearest college or university.